Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries, and we got another one, y'all. First of all, bitch, I know you fucking lie. I know you fucking lie. Because, oh my God, you know, so. A Georgia man was arrested Sunday for stealing electronic devices from his 73-year-old mother, then intimidating her into giving him money for them to be returned, according to police. Thomas Mitchell McCollum, 28, was arrested at his mother's home in western Forsyth County. Sheriff's Office spokesman Corporal Doug Rainwater said deputies responded to the home in the 6,000 block of Tybridge Bridge Street on Sunday regarding a domestic dispute. McCullough's mother told the deputies that her son had stolen her electronic devices then demanded money for their return. Rainwater said McCullum would intimidate his mother via text by demanding more money if she did not pay him and if his mother did not meet his imposed deadlines, McCullum would keep increasing the amount. McCullum allegedly blocked his mother's car in with his van for two days until she agreed to take him to an ATM to withdraw money. McCollum faces one felony count of exploitation and intimidation of an elderly person. Jail records cited by the Journal Constitution show he remains booked in the Forsyth County Jail on a $5,630 bond. I would not have believed it. Would not have believed it if I wouldn't have read it on my own. So you legit, you bullying your mom? That's what we doing in the 2020? That, that's how we getting down for the 2020. You bullying your mom, regardless of her age, it makes it even worse that she's 73. It just makes it even worse. It's bad at any age, but 73 is like, so you legit are like, you captain run over, right? Like, so you legit like, I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that she's 73. But what you didn't know was your mom was smooth like, I don't want no Today's the day, boo. He thought it was super sweet. Thought he was about to get away with it like he's been intimidating her and all of that. And she was like, Police! Police! Help! Police! No, sir. No, sir. She called them people on them. I know he was sitting up there looking super stupid when them cops came in. Up there, probably couldn't even get a word out. Like, have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want? There is no way in the world that you are intimidating your seventy-three-year-old mother. For money, first of all, I'm going to say this. I don't know what's going on with this man, but it's obviously something fairly serious. He's looking a little hangry to me. But Tamara, he doesn't look like the most pleasant person in the world. And that woman may need protection because he, if you, if you stealing from your mom, you are already on the edge. And you couldn't possibly care that much about anything that could happen to you or anybody else if you're stealing from your mom. Like, you're, like, intimidating her, like... If you don't give me no money, you can't leave the house. Take me to that. Take me to your ATM right now and give me some money. And obviously she's been doing it because she, she told the cops like of previous situations where he basically intimidated her into giving him money. It's like, so this is how we getting down in the 2020? $5,000 is not high enough. In my opinion, I know there are laws in place that dictate this stuff, but I'm just like, how are you going to steal from your mom? My biggest thing is what happens when he gets out because he's going to get out. Don't be surprised if his mom gets him out. It's like now is he going to be revengeful and want to do something to her or hurt her? Like he doesn't look like. Definitely does not look like the most pleasant person in the world. I'm sure he's having a worse day than he thought he was. I don't know if this man is on drugs. I don't know what it is, but for you to go to the extent of stealing from your mom and intimidating your mom for money, it's just like. Uh, 
What's going on with you? Oh, he's stealing. He's stealing. He's when I tell you, people in this world cease to amaze me, but the fact that every year you hope that people get better, every year you hope that things get better, and it is not really. You know, people are still going through stuff. Mental health issues, that's a real thing. A real thing. This man, he really needs to reevaluate his life. I feel so bad for his mom. I hope she's able to kind of like get things together where she can be safe in her own home because she's up in age. So it's not like if he tried to do anything to her on some, you shouldn't have never called the cops on me type stuff that she wouldn't even probably be able to, def to defend herself. This is a 28 year old man. Like he is healthy, healthy, healthy. Not saying not to say that she's not healthy, but she's 73. So even if she's in perfect health, she's in perfect health for a 73 year old. And he may be in perfect health for a 28 year old. So if it's a matter of her defending herself, she might not be able to fight him off successfully if he came back on some now you gotta go because how much love can you possibly have for yourself or your mother or parent period if you're sitting up there stealing from them intimidating them i don't even know what kind of time you have to have on your hand to be like you got a car like i'm gonna go to my mom's house and if she don't give me no money i'm not gonna let her leave the house so you blocked her van you blocked her car in with your van she loved you enough to not call the cops on you when you blocked her in for two days, two days. She loved you enough to, to not call the cops on you. But then you took it a step further and was like, you know, I'm about to just come up in here and take some stuff. So you're a pawn shop now. So you, you just, you're going to sell her back her stuff. Like who does that? You legit went in your mom's house, took her stuff and was like, Give me some money or I'm not giving you your stuff back. He thought it was super sweet. Well, he knows now it is not super sweet because now you're going to jail. You're going, going to jail. jail. He's sitting in jail looking dumb, 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 dumb. If his mom is done with him, she probably won't bail him out. But a mother's love sometimes has no boundaries i just hope that she is able to remain safe after this because like i said he doesn't look like uh he doesn't look like he really cares about anything he looks more angry than anything in the mugshot if you ask me but you know who are me to judge so just wanted to come to you guys really quickly with that. Uh, sorry about my absence. So much stuff has been going on in my life. So many new things for the 2020 has been going on. So I've been kind of, it's been kind of difficult for me to come and post videos, but I'm back. You know, I'm not leaving you guys. So I definitely will be coming back to you guys with more content very, very soon. So look out for that. That's all I got to say about that, you guys. It's a very, very sad story, but unfortunately, it's very, very true. So, as always, that's going to be it for me, Candace the Aries, and always remember to enjoy the journey.